going to continue to buy time. I'm going to extend today the stay-at-home order until May 4th. The current stay-at-home order was set to expire Friday. The extension adds another 24 days to that and runs to May 4th. The restaurant and bar closures are also extended. This will not be turning on a light switch. This will be a complex way of restarting the economy where you're going to have to go in a proper order. Because the one thing that I am most worried about is signaling to anyone, to the healthcare industry or to Minnesotans, that we're out of the woods. On the PPE shortage, word that the Chinese military blocked a shipment headed to Minnesota. We had uh, a significant number of PPE ready to move out of China before the Chinese army surrounded the facility and said they're not going anywhere. Those are the things that are happening now. When the state of Minnesota and a private sector partner ordered these things, they were being palletized and ready to move out until uh, the Chinese army stopped it from happening. So that's uh, one of those, we were hearing these stories about uh, the state being this close to grabbing a bunch of supplies and losing them at the last minute. And the, this first time we'd heard the Chinese army actually blocked a shipment. Now, the governor is going to allow some things to change with this new order. One of them is letting the landscapers and people who have to be involved in maintaining uh, critical assets uh, get back to work. And so the Ag Department is still figuring out or kind of coming up with the details and how that's going to work. But uh, that will be different. We'll talk more about that coming up at six. Back All to right, you. John. Thank you. That PPE is much needed. Well, today